Hi friends! Welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I'm Jenny. <coughs> that was a bad idea. <coughs> and we're gardening here in Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7. Today's video is going to be really quick, really short. I just wanted to get this on the record on my channel because I feel pretty strongly about it. Fall leaves are not a bad thing. They do good things for your garden. So come with me and let's talk about all the ways that fall leaves can help you have a better garden. Number one tip for your fall leaves on your flower beds, just leave them. In fact, take them off your lawn and put them on your flower beds. This will insulate your soil and keep your freeze thaw cycles a little bit more steady. It will protect plants that are on the borderline of not hardy in your area. It'll provide nutrients for your soil microorganisms to munch on over the winter and provide better nutrition back into the soil and thereby improving your soil biology. So there's lots of good reasons to use natural fallen leaves on your flower beds. You can leave them whole like this or you can shred them up like this. But either way, leaves are a great mulch for your winter garden. I've already talked a lot on this channel about how we're using leaves to create a new flower bed. This is using the lasagna garden method where you layer brown and green materials over the course of the winter. And then by the time you get to spring, the soil will be ready to plant in. And I'm using both. Uh, these are munched up with the lawn mower and these were shredded up with the leaf shredder. Both of them work and they're both great for the soil here. This is an area of the garden that had some plants taken out of it. So it had a, actually a depression and I was missing some soil here. So I'm just putting leaves in this area just to act as a fill for this garden. They'll decompose over time and become part of the natural soil in this area and it'll be wonderful. Of course, fall leaves are a wonderful addition for your compost pile. They make the best brown material ever. So just add them in there and then layer them in with some nitrogen rich green material. Or if you don't have much green material at this time of year, you can layer them in there with some blood meal and that is high nitrogen and that will help get your compost working and, and get the, the decomposition process going. Do you have a spot somewhere that leaves usually gather and you sometimes don't always get to cleaning them up? This is one of those spots in our yard. This is in the driveway area and we have this uh, sort of a gutter situation that was built into our driveway using granite blocks. And so in this area, there's a stone out of place. And so leaves collect here all year long and they decompose all year long. And what you're left with is this wonderful soil called leaf mold. It's gritty, it's full of wonderful nutrients for your soil. And leaf mold is what you get when you just let leaves decompose on their own over time. And you can find this in gutters. You can find it all along the edge of the street, up against your house sometimes. Another way you can get leaf mold is to put your dry leaves, shred them or not, into a black garbage bag, poke a few drainage holes in the black garbage bag, and kind of leave about a foot diameter circle in the top of the of the garbage bag open so that rain and snow can get in there. Leave it out over the winter and by spring you'll have leaf mold. Now this material is like, it is like gold in your garden. Um, if you add this material to heavy clay soil, it will lighten up your clay. If you add this material to dry sandy soil, it will add richness to your soil. This is heaven right here. And the more leaves you have in your property, the more leaf mold you can make. Let's talk about tools for just a second. The lawn mower is your best friend when it comes to getting the fall leaves off of your lawn. You can just run your mower right over the lawn, even if the grass isn't too long. Just use this as a mulcher, shredder, leaf picker upper. You can use it with the mulching blade going and just let the cut leaves go back down onto your grass. Or what we've been doing this year especially is we've been bagging all the leaves and then dumping them out onto the front flower beds where we're putting in the new flower beds with the lasagna method. So the bag on the mower, that is a perfect way to clean the lawn of leaves. Of course, you could always use rakes as well. This is a metal rake and I like this one for getting into the flower beds because it tends to, uh, the tines kind of go around the plants a little bit better than the plastic 
leaf rake that we have, which I don't have here to show you, but you probably know what a plastic leaf rake looks like. I like this metal one when I'm in the flower beds. The plastic one I like better on the lawn. And then I have this little one that actually this came with a dog pooper picker upper set, but uh, we use this to get leaves out um, underneath shrubs and in between tight places um, in the flower beds. So uh, it's nice to have these two different things on hand plus the um, plastic one. But if you don't have all of them, that's fine. Just get, you know, one good leaf rake and that will do you really well. Now it can be helpful to have a debris bag like this. I'll put a link in the description down below where I got these. I just got these on Amazon and they're great because they're super lightweight. They're made out of tarp material and they have handles and they you can put a lot of stuff in here and they've got great handles for carrying and the flexible top. I really like this for leaf removal and cleaning up the flower beds in the fall as well. We also, of course, use the wheelbarrow to dump the lawnmower bag into so we don't have to make as many trips. And we also have a pop-up bag, which if you want to put your leaves into a black plastic uh, trash bag for um, the leaf mold method, then you can use a pop-up bag to hold your bag while you dump your leaves in there. Um, let's see, oh, there's one more tool that we have that I'm really loving this season. This is my new favorite tool this year. It is a leaf blower normally, but it can also be configured as a leaf vacuum and shredder. And so I am able to use this to suck up the leaves out of a flower bed. They get shredded in the motor and then they come out into this bag. And then I just dump the bag out in the front yard wherever I want it. And I've got my wonderful looking flower beds in the back that are clean of leaves. And I've got my wonderful looking flower beds in the front, which are mulched with leaves. Everybody's happy. It's a little bit noisy. It's a little bit dusty. So wear your ear protection and a mask is a good idea and eye protection if you think you need it. But this is awesome. This is not a sponsored post, by the way. Um, I just love this tool. In the past, we have used a leaf shredder, which is like it stands up on three legs and it's round and it you dump the leaves in the top and they go down through and, and get shredded on their way down. And it uses like a string trimmer type of situation to chop all the materials. We had one from a I forget the brand actually, I don't remember. But after two seasons of using it, the motor went out and I can't use it anymore, so we had to toss it. So um, this is the method that we're using this year to shred our leaves and I love it. And so far so good. I think Toro is a good brand. I don't know, I don't have any pros or cons about any other brands though, but uh, yeah. So the leaf shredder machines that you can buy, buy at your own risk, I don't know. We had one, it didn't really work for very many years. So, you know. about how the leaf vac works. My bag is full, so I'm gonna go dump it out on the front flower bed. All right, so I'm just gonna do that a lot more to get these leaves cleaned up and get them put to use out in the flower beds. Thank you so much for joining me today. Do you have ways that you use your fall leaves other than what I've shared today? Put some comments down in the comment section down below so that we can all learn from each other about the best practices for using fall leaves in your gardens. Thank you so much for joining me today. Happy fall, everybody. Have a wonderful day in your gardens. Bye.